When light reaches a curved surface, it bends. This process of bending light is called refraction. The two main refractive surfaces of the eye are the cornea and the lens inside the eye. These two curved surfaces, along with other internal structures of the eye, work together to focus light onto the retina in the back of the eye. If light does not focus directly on the retina, the eye will be nearsighted, farsighted, or astigmatic. These problems are called refractive errors. Astigmatism is a common refractive error. People who have astigmatism experience blurred or distorted vision at all distances. Astigmatism occurs when light entering the eye comes into focus at multiple points, either in front of or behind the retina, instead of precisely on the retina. This can be caused by a cornea that is irregularly shaped and differs from the rounded shape of a normal cornea. Sometimes it can be caused by an irregularly shaped lens inside the eye. People with mild astigmatism can experience slightly blurred or distorted vision at all distances. But people with severe astigmatism can have vision affected so much that it prevents them from performing their daily activities. Astigmatism can be diagnosed easily by your eye care professional. Treatments for astigmatism are designed to change the way that light rays are bent when they enter the eye so that they come into a point of focus precisely on the retina. These treatments may include prescription eyeglasses or contact lenses that compensate for the eye's inability to focus. Another treatment option is refractive surgery where the cornea is reshaped to change the way it bends entering light rays. Astigmatism can also be treated by implanting a prescription lens inside the eye, where it works with the rest of the eye's natural focusing system to refocus light rays precisely on the retina. When astigmatism causes objects to appear blurred or distorted, any of these treatments can restore clear vision, making daily activities much easier. If a person has a refractive error, then light is not properly focusing on the retina in the back of the eye. People who have refractive errors may wish to consider LASIK as an alternative to wearing corrective lenses. LASIK is a surgical procedure that corrects refractive errors by changing the shape of the cornea and thus the way the eye focuses light internally. This procedure delivers excellent results with shorter recovery times compared to other procedures. The goal of LASIK is to reduce or eliminate a person's dependence on eyeglasses or contact lenses. Although LASIK cannot guarantee 20-20 vision for every patient, it can significantly improve eyesight and generally reduce and in some cases eliminate the need for corrective lenses. Over the years, refractive surgery has undergone many exciting advancements. Introduced in 1987, photorefractive keratectomy, or PRK, was the first refractive procedure to use computer-controlled laser technology to reshape the cornea with microscopic precision. PRK has had a consistent history of delivering good results and is a good treatment option for some patients but there are drawbacks to this procedure. These occur because PRK involves removing a thin layer of the cornea, leaving the surface of the eye exposed after the procedure. PRK results in longer recovery times, discomfort after the procedure, a greater risk of infection, and potential development of hazy vision during recovery. Introduced in 1991, laser-assisted in situ keratomalusis, or LASIK, improved upon the PRK procedure. This procedure involves cutting a flap deep into the cornea using a metal blade. 
LASIK delivers excellent results with shorter recovery times and less discomfort than PRK. LASIK is a good treatment option for many patients, but there are potential complications with the flap. The development of ectasia, a bulging of the cornea, an increased risk of developing dry eye compared to PRK. Introduced in 2004, Custom All Laser LASIK is the latest evolution in refractive surgery. Rather than using a metal blade that cuts through corneal tissue, Custom All Laser LASIK creates an ultra-thin flap using computer-controlled laser pulses, gently separating the outer layer of the cornea from the layer to be treated. This technique preserves the integrity of the eye's structure, delivering superior vision correction. Because the flap is made at a uniform depth and shape, patients experience shorter recovery times, less discomfort, and reduced risk of developing dry eye. Custom All Laser LASIK is poised to become the gold standard of refractive surgery because it offers the advantages of both PRK and LASIK while lessening the drawbacks associated with each procedure. During the LASIK procedure, the surgeon will reshape the cornea with a laser. The first step is to use a state-of-the-art femtosecond laser to create a corneal flap. In seconds, over a million computer-controlled pulses of laser light are delivered to the cornea. The beam passes harmlessly through the outer layers of the cornea until it reaches its exact focal point. Once at the predetermined depth of the cornea, the laser produces a series of tiny gas bubbles which join together to create the flap. With femtosecond laser technology, surgeons are now able to create a customized flap of a desired thickness, size, orientation, and location. Keratoconus is a degenerative disease of the cornea that causes it to gradually thin and bulge into a cone-like shape. Since the cornea is the main focusing lens of the eye, any distortions in it lead to a distorted image projected onto the retina. As the disease progresses, the cone becomes more pronounced, causing vision to become more blurred and distorted. Because of the cornea's irregular shape, patients with keratoconus are usually very nearsighted and have a high degree of astigmatism that is not correctable with glasses. The cornea is the clear surface that covers the front of the eye. The cornea is made up of millions of fibers that are linked together to maintain the cornea's shape. Certain conditions, like keratoconus, can weaken the links between these corneal fibers and alter the cornea's shape. This leads to distorted vision that worsens over time. Glasses, contact lenses, and corrective corneal implants are used to compensate for this, but the problem can progress to the point where the cornea must be transplanted to restore useful vision. A corneal transplant is an invasive procedure requiring a lengthy recovery period, lost time from work, and carries a high risk of post-operative complications. Even if successful, the quality of life for corneal transplant recipients is significantly impacted and often requires them to make permanent lifestyle changes. Today, a procedure known as UV cross-linking is a simple, minimally invasive treatment that can stop the progression of keratoconus and similar conditions. While cross-linking cannot reverse the distortion of the cornea, it can prevent further changes. Studies have shown that cross-linking preserves vision and avoids the need for a corneal transplant. The cross-linking procedure begins by administering drops of riboflavin solution to the surface of the cornea. Once the cornea has been saturated with the solution, 
a small amount of UVA light activates the riboflavin to strengthen and stabilize the weakened links between the corneal fibers. Most patients will not require more than a single treatment. If you or someone you care about suffer from keratoconus or a similar condition, ask your doctor about cross-linking and find out if you are a good candidate for this procedure. Anyone with diabetes is at risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. In its early stages, there may be little or no visual symptoms. Without early detection and treatment, diabetic retinopathy can permanently damage the retina. If the condition is not caught early, it may produce symptoms that affect vision. These include mild blurriness in near or distance vision, floaters, and even the sudden loss of vision. If left untreated, it can cause severe vision loss and even blindness. Eye surgeons cannot reverse the damage caused by diabetic retinopathy, but if caught in time, modern treatment options may help slow its progression and prevent further vision loss. It is critical for patients with diabetes to be examined on a regular basis, even if they have not yet noticed any symptoms. If a patient experiences any significant change in their vision, they should contact their doctor for an immediate appointment, even if they recently had an examination. Laser therapy is a quick and painless procedure to repair certain types of retinal tears. First, a topical anesthetic is applied to the eye. Following the anesthetic, a laser beam is directed into the eye, creating a series of tiny spots that seal the area around the tear. The newest laser surgical option for the treatment of open angle glaucoma is called Selective Laser Trabeculoplasty, or SLT. During the SLT procedure, your doctor directs a low-frequency laser beam into the trabecular meshwork, which is the primary drainage region of the eye. The SLT laser selectively treats specific cells, leaving untreated portions of the trabecular meshwork intact. This procedure increases drainage of aqueous fluid out of the eye, lowering pressure inside of the eye. SLT is typically painless or results only in minor discomfort. After the procedure, the patient is typically treated with eye drops for a couple days. Most patients are scheduled for a return visit within a few weeks to reevaluate. A cataract is a cloudiness of the lens inside of the eye that causes decreased vision. Fortunately, the surgery performed to restore vision is a very common and safe procedure. Cataract surgery used to require a fairly large incision in the eye and the use of sutures to close that incision. Today, technological advances allow ophthalmologists to work through an incision much smaller than in the past, usually requiring no sutures at all. Small incision cataract surgery is made possible by using high-frequency sound waves, known as ultrasound, or phacoemulsification. The sound waves break a cataract up into tiny fragments that can then be removed through the small incision. The other advance that makes small incision cataract surgery possible is the foldable interocular lens implant. These implants are made of soft materials which can be folded like a taco or rolled up with a special instrument, allowing them to fit through very small incisions. Once inside the eye, these lenses unfold and return to their original shape. Small incision cataract surgery is less invasive, allows patients to resume normal activities soon after surgery, and provides the fastest recovery of vision.
After cataract surgery, your vision can become cloudy like it was when you had a cataract. But it isn't a new cataract. Instead, the posterior capsule, which holds the lens in place, becomes cloudy and may blur your vision. This is called the after cataract. An after cataract can develop months or even years later. Unlike a cataract, an after cataract is treated with a laser. In a technique called YAG laser capsulotomy, your doctor uses a laser beam to make a tiny hole in the posterior capsule to let light pass through. This is a painless outpatient procedure. Cataract surgery is one of the safest and most commonly performed operations around the world. As surgical tools and techniques continue to advance, cataract surgery has become safer, more effective, and more predictable. One such advancement in cataract surgery now allows computer-controlled laser technology to replace the use of handheld instruments during key steps of the procedure. First, instead of using a surgical blade, the surgeon uses the laser to create small incisions in the cornea, which allows access to the cloudy lens inside the eye. Following the incision, the surgeon will use the laser to create an opening in the front layer of the lens. The surgeon then uses the laser to break the cloudy lens into smaller pieces instead of using handheld instruments. The pieces of lens are then removed using a tiny ultrasound suction device that is inserted through the corneal incision. Once the cataract has been completely removed, an artificial replacement lens is then implanted through the tiny incision into the capsular bag where the natural lens used to be. Because the incision is so small, it is often watertight and does not require any sutures. Using a laser for certain steps in cataract surgery reduces the number of instruments that need to be inserted into the eye and has the potential to increase the speed and accuracy of the procedure reduce recovery time, and reduce the chances of complications after surgery.